Nous avons donc le plaisir ce matin sur RCJ d'être en compagnie de Léon Raz. Hello Léon Bokertov. Hi, Bokertov. Thank you so much to be here with us. Uh, you are here for the France Social Jeux Unifié for a uh, big event. And um, we are talking on the RCG, we are talking about uh, the shooting of Foda. Uh, now you, uh, you are in Paris, but you are in the shooting of Foda in Israel for the third season. Can you tell us a few words about the, the shooting and the beginning? Not the story, I know you can't, but just the shooting and the, and the beginning of the shooting. So we are shooting now in uh, Kfar Qasem. It's an Arab-Israeli village. And it's very, this season is going to be very intense as the other ones, of course. And, um, but it's going to be, um, I think it's about, Doron is going to, to be much more emotional this year. And, and it's nice, you know, that we're shooting Arabs and Israelis together. Uh, because the show is, there is Arab actors and Arab Isra um, and Israelis actors. And also in the production, we have Arabs and Jews together, that working together. It's very nice to see how we can collaborate for creative reasons and not, uh, not for bad things, just for good things. And it's very nice. Uh, it's new also um, when uh, what makes Foda successful too, successful too is that it shows uh, the both sides. And it's new also in Israel and in uh, Syria, uh, Israel. That's why um, you think that's, uh, that's new and that's good and that's better for, for people who love the Syria? I think when you see the other side of the, of the... When you see... When you know your enemy, you know, you have to know him. You know them very well. And... Um, What we're trying to, to show in, in, in our show is to, to, that people can be good and bad in both sides. And you don't have to be... And, and, and I think for a good TV show, there is a say that say the, the better the villain, the better the movie. So when you do the villain, you show him... I remember when we started to shoot, when we started to write Fauda, I said to the writers, I said, I want to be able to, I want to, be able to act as the bad guy. And I want to, maybe I will. And so you have to write it very good that you have life, you have kids, you have children, you have uh, love. And I think this is why people all over the world are now connected to Fauda because it's, 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 it's new. And, 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 and the, when you see movies, American movies, European movies, when you see the bad guy, they are the bad guys. Yeah. That's it. It's very flat characters. And we try to make them much more um, rounded characters. Um, can you tell us how the, um, the world for that adventure, the TV show, started? How it started? Wow. So, I was in, in the in undercover unit when I was young. We're not saying it, <laughs> but yes, I was in, in undercover unit. And, and when I was, um, and after a few years, like five, six years ago, I met Avi, my partner, Avi Isakharov, and we were together in the West Bank somewhere, and he asked me, asked me a very nice uh, question. He asked me if I have a dream, and I said, yes, I want to write something about those undercover people and the mental price that they are paying for what they're doing, because it's a very hard job to do. And he said that he had the same dream for a long time, and we started to write it. And um, in the beginning, it was very hard because we had to, we had to open wounds and thing that we never talked about you know when in, in israel you don't talk about emotional stuff yeah. so much and uh, because we are very we're trying to be very tough and very uh sabra, sabra yeah but when you peel the sabra you yeah, see there's yeah. very tasty <laughs> and um so we started to write it and it was very hard but then then it was when we started to talk about our life and our experience It was very, uh, it was very good because, first of all, it was a healing process for me and Avi, for what we did in the army, and also it was, uh, um, we were just sitting and, and writing and writing all the day. It was, it was great experience because this is the first time that I'm writing anything. I'm not, I didn't write anything in my, yeah. Well, what do you want to do when you are kind, when you are little? You want to be an actor? You want to, to make what? When I was younger, I wanted to be an actor, yes, but also I wanted to be a, <laughs> to work in the Israeli, um, how do you call it, Chevra La Ganata Teva. You know what it is? Yeah. It's the Rangers when you protect the nature, okay. and uh, so okay. 
This was my yeah. This was my dream to be a ranger with my uh, jeep, with my dog, <laughs> and travel in the desert. This was my dream. Maybe I'll do it one day. <laughs> not sure, not so much. <laughs> um, how did you go from reality to fiction? Because you uh, you live a lot of things when uh, when you are in the army. You walk after things. How did you pass to reality to fiction? Um, first of all, you have to write a good story, and and it's not. Sometimes reality is very boring. You know, and you have to make uh, to to invent some events and stuff. So, some things that we had in the show was re really about our life and our experience in life. But I never had a affair with a Palestinian doctor, you know, in my life. Never. never. Maybe one day. But <laughs> um, so it's something that you have to make it as a good story. You have to understand that every time that you write something, it's supposed to have. Uh, Um, like uh, we call it the midpoint that you have to turning points and it, you have to it's very um, technically stuff that you have to to do and in order to make a good move good movie or good fiction can you imagine uh, such a big success in Israel and in all over the world because now the success of Foda is uh, all over the world in France it's really difficult not to you to walk on the street and in Israel I can't imagine can you imagine uh, such a big success and uh, uh, your life change completely I imagine yeah I, I didn't I thought that nobody will see the show <laughs> just me and my family in the beginning uh, but when it started to be a uh, a big hit in Israel and in the US and Canada and, and Europe in South America now it's very big in India it's very big now um, it's 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 caught us by surprise because we didn't understand it we didn't know it's going to be like that and and just uh, yeah imagine that I was four years ago I was an actor and I was a creative director in BBDO publicity company and in one day my life changed and it's very complicated and it's very nice mm -hmm. and it's very good I'm, I'm living my dream now but uh, there is a price for for being celebrity also it's not so easy you know that you cannot go anywhere and um, you're not private anymore so it's uh, from time one time it's nice but the other time is it's quite uh, difficult for the family and, and it's it's very complicated it's good mm -hmm. it's really good yeah, but it is complicated You have three children, Leo. What kind of father are you? You are a strong father, kind father? I think I'm the father that I wanted to have when I was a child. Mm -hmm. You know, I was, um, I'm very, um, I'm trying to be very involved with my family. <clears throat> I'm traveling a lot now. Yeah. I'm traveling all over the world. I'm trying to, to bring them with me. So we were together in Argentina when I was shooting a movie called Operation Finale. It's very it's, good. Thank you. It's on Netflix now as well, um, about Eichmann uh, capture. And I played there the head of the Mossad. And uh, so they were with me in Argentina. And then we lived together in L.A. And now we're going to, after we're going to shoot Fauda, I'm going to shoot a new show, a new TV show in New York. So they're going to come with me to New York. We're going to, they, they're traveling a lot. And, but I think it's make us a strong family because we are, um, right, yes. yes. And also because I don't, I don't like to go out now because it's very hard for me to go out. So I'm staying at home with my family all the time. <laughs> That's better. Uh, you're in Paris for the um, gala event of uh, FSU. What does the generosity and donation uh, for you? And uh, what the, um, do you think that supporting uh, the diaspora and diaspora supporting Israel, it's important for you? Um, first of all, in the last years, I'm traveling a lot with Jewish communities all over the world. They're inviting me for in crazy places I'm, I, I travel and now I see how just now because when, when I was young I didn't understand it how how, how strong it is uh, the connection between the diaspora to Israel and how Israel is important to the to the diaspora and 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 now I know how strong are the relationships and and how important it is and to know that we are a big family even though that we are not living in you not living in Israel but still I feel that we are a big family and whenever I go I um, you know all over the world I see Jewish people and they are and I think Fauda made something to the Jewish people in the world I think um, I don't know if I can say it in the rain <laughs> but I feel that um, it's, it's I, I will say something else they, they, it makes them feel I think strong again and to see the Israeli characters 
fighting and and uh, with emotional movements and the, how it's it's make them proud uh, of being part of this and it makes me proud to be part of the Jewish community all over the world as well and I'm proud of you <laughs> a lot of people call you uh, Doron <laughs> it's uh, good I'll say I'm Leo I'm not only Doron when someone called me Doron I say Leo it's Doron is a different character it's not me it's not uh, it's it's There is a lot of me in Doron because uh, you cannot be you have to be you, in order to to make a good character you have to connect it to yourself so I'm very connected to Doron but uh, there is a separation between Doron and Fauda and Leoraz uh, even though that people don't all the time understand that there is a separate uh, separation okay now we know last question Leo um, you said uh, you you live your dreams now what is the next dream uh, an overall season of Foda four five six or you don't know um, I'm living the moment now and um, I'm trying to do I, I want to tell stories to the world and I want to to act and to play in, in movies in big movies now I just did a big movie with uh, Michael Bay movie with Ryan Reynolds and Melanie Laurent uh, yeah And it's um, so I'm, I'm just I think my dream is to just to be, you know, and just to, to live the moment and, and to be healthy and uh, to have a great family. I know that's a great moment. Thank you so much, Leo. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you tonight. Thank <laughs> you.